Oh. Hello YouTube, Sentinel H here. Welcome to episode 44 of my Rotary Craft tutorial series. In this episode, we're continuing to talk about the uh, power conversion machines between mods. We're talking about the steam turbine and the friction boiler. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, we know that uh, obviously Reactor Craft has its own steam, uh, and we know you know that if you if you use Monster and if you use a lot of modded Minecraft packs, you know that Railcraft also uses uh, steam power. So when we talk about the steam turbine and we talking about steam in this v episode, we are only talking about Railcraft steam. Okay. So <coughs> the first. Uh, block is the steam turbine. This is the machine that you use to take the railcraft steam and produce shaft power. And it's crafted with four steel ingots, two base panels, two glass blocks, and a turbine. If you don't remember, the turbine is a compressor surrounded by propeller blades. And I also like how in the most in, in the the version 25Z of uh of the uh the GUI pushes any eye aside. It's awesome. Okay, so um, let's take a look at it. And this is a steam turbine right here. It looks pretty cool. All these propeller blades inside and little block. Uh, it requires two resources to run. It obviously it requires steam, but it also requires uh, lubricant. So if we right click on it, it does have a GUI, of course. Uh, it stores up to 300,000 millibuckets of steam and 24,000 millibuckets of lubricant in this tank over here. It's got redstone control. You can set it to whatever you want. Uh, right now, it, it ignores redstone, but obviously, you can set it to turn on or off with a redstone signal. And just like the other um, converters, this is um, a tiered machine. So this is currently at tier zero. Uh, so we can get up to two kilowatts out of it. It's currently consuming 46 millibuckets of steam per tick. So it does consume quite a bit of steam, but we're now but we're getting uh, our two kilowatts out. Of course, if we hit it with a tier one upgrade, now we can get up to 16 kilowatts, which consumes 128 millibuckets a tick of steam. Whack it with a tier three. Wait, was that a tier three? Oh, I hadn't hit it with a tier two yet. We can get up to 131 kilowatts, and that's 363 millibuckets per tick, which is rapidly depleting the steam drum, which is what's standing in for our uh, rotary re re railcraft boilers. Megawatt, tier 4, tier 5, and of course with tier 5 we can get 67 megawatts out, but we've rapidly depleted our steam because it consumes like something crazy, like 5,000 or so millibuckets of, uh, of steam. I don't think it'll even run if we do this because we, it's not able to suck the steam out fast enough. So you can get a lot of power out of these, obviously, but you do need a crap ton of steam uh, from Railcraft. But this is the steam turbine. It's pretty straightforward, and uh, it works really well. Back down to a reasonable consumption. And it'll go back down to consuming a more reasonable amount of steam per tick. There. So if you've got a tier 5 and you've got a tier 5 set to its uh, lowest uh, amount to produce 81, 92 kilowatts, this is uh, nine, needs about 100, you know, 91 millibuckets uh, buckets a tick. I like that it lets you know exactly how much steam it's consuming every tick. But yeah, that's the steam turbine. So the next thing is the friction boiler, which is what does the opposite. It allows you to use shaft power to produce Railcraft steam, and that's built with four steel ingots, two glass blocks, a liquid pipe, and an impeller. So these aren't very expensive machines. And over here we have it. Um, now, the interesting thing about the friction boiler is that I've I've no idea what the power requirement is, and the reason for that is that it doesn't say it anywhere. Um, but I've experimented, and you can get steam. See, I've experimented with putting different amounts of power into it and I find that if you give it the output of a uh, gas engine you end up getting what I think is about a thousand millibuckets of steam every t 10 seconds and obviously if you give it more power you can get more uh, steam out of it faster for um, and it'll drain more water 
but you can see it produces steam. Uh, you put water in the side, steam comes out the top. I can even get the Railcraft steam into a Rotary Craft uh, uh, reservoir here by just sticking it on the top, which is pretty cool. Um, that's the friction boiler. Now, if I go ahead and give it some more power, we can s oh, come on. More power. 512 at 256. 256. That's the output of a AC engine. We can see it'll start. It's got 2,000, and then it goes up to 3,000, uh, and then however long it takes to go up to 4,000, it runs a bit faster. Obviously, it's going to take more water, but of course, water is essentially an infinite resource. Now, when you first place down a friction boiler, it does have a warm-up period. Let me go ahead and grab it. Place it down. So it does take a while for it to heat up. It heats up gradually, depending on how much power you give it. So it's heating up. Uh, it took in the water. This reservoir is empty now, but it doesn't really matter. But this demonstration's almost over. It's going to take a while to heat up, and then once it gets hot enough, it'll start producing steam. There it goes. It produced a thousand millibuckets of steam. It's still going to keep heating up, and then it's, there's some more steam for you and uh, more steam. So yeah, I really like. I like how it looks too. So yeah, 27,000 millibucket storage for both water and for steam. You can pipe the steam out the top, feed it into, uh, I guess you're, you'd probably um, feed it into Railcraft uh, steam storage tanks and then into engines, like the Railcraft steam engines, but yeah, that's what that does. So that's these two blocks. They're pretty straightforward. Um, straightforward converters so remember you, you do need upgrades for these these upgrades here for the uh, steam turbine um, the friction boiler will you know happily produce you uh, real craft steam so these are the machines you need if you want to convert shaft power uh, to and from uh, real craft steam and so uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode so um, yeah next episode we'll talk about some more stuff and uh, hey stick uh, we'll keep going so I'm Sentinel H and I'm signing